Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. On this episode, we are going to do some cleanup on other worlds. As you recall, there's this lady here. I'd be awfully grateful if you could find my children, Goggy, Soggy, and Margie, and bring them back here to me. We have Mrs. Boggy, who is missing her three children somewhere in the park, and we need to bring her back here. Now that we've done Terry Dacty Land, we can actually do this, because we needed the taxi pack in order to be able to do it. So first things first, we're going to come over here and grab some burgers. Give me some burgers, Al. Okay, kid, burgers coming right up. You want fries with that? Oh, yes, please. Well, too bad. Burgers is all I got. Go see Salty Joe. What? I got no more burgers left. Better root around for some more. Well, I think there's one just under your left foot. Where? I can't see it. Alright, so disgusting burger place. Let's go get some fries from uh, Joe. Because we can, uh, we need fries in order to lure one of the other kids into our van. There we have the fries place. Look at its brightly colored thing. You'd think one of the light would be burnt out on here, but there isn't. Alright, let's just skip this because we've seen that text a million times. Eh, I better start frying up some more because I'm all out. Uh, yes, you better prepare for the impending rush. Why, you cheeky? Okay, so. If I recall correctly, the first time I came to Witchy World, there were two of them in the space zone. Pretty sure. One of them was in the star spinner, and the other one was just over here. I don't know if the locations of them change, and if they do, well, that's just terrible. So hopefully they don't. I'll know if the little girl is in the star spinner. And we have the little girl in the star spinner. Ow! I'm starving! Get me some fries and I'll leave quietly. Okay, I have fries. Wow, you got fries! Can I have some? Can I? Can I? Will you give me some food? Yes, I will. Thanks, mister! I'll go see if mom is ready to leave. Thanks for finding a little camp for me. This is only a little two to find, though. Whoops, I don't want to use that one. Okay, so we got two more. So since I know where the other two are... Actually, that's a lie. I only know where one of the other is. I know one of them is next to the Dodgem Dome. I know that for sure. I know that 100% for sure. Whoa, that's really close. I know 100% that one of them is just to the r l right sorry, of the dodge and dome. And that's this kid over here. He's too fat to do anything. Thank goodness you came. I'm really hungry. Don't you think you've had enough? No way. I just need a burger before I go find my mom. Ooh, you got some burgers. Please, 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 can I have one? Will you give me some food? Yes. <coughs> Yummy! Are you okay, kid? You're looking a little, er, full, shall we say. My tummy hurts. Please carry me back to Mom. I can't stand up. I'm not surprised. Alright, so we need the taxi pack to carry him, so we'll need to get rid of Kazooie and get Banjo on his own. But luckily there's a spot underneath the big top that has that. But we can just instantly go there because of this. So let's quickly behind the big top. When I did this part in my practice file, I actually completely forgot that that warp was there and that it goes from the space zone to over here. And then there's another one to the world. So I did everything on foot. And then after I was done, I was like, oh yeah, there's a warp there. That probably would have saved me probably five minutes or more of time. Kind of terrible. Okay, so let's go ahead and sack him up. Hooray, we got a little kid in our bag. Dunna! Alright, let's go back to uh, his mom and dump him off so she can deal with him. Now, where is the third kid? I'm trying to remember. I've already done all of the space zone. Unless he's inside the dungeon dome. Which I really, really doubt he's inside the Dodge Dome. Because if all three were in the space zone, that would be just ridiculous. 
I'm sharing, Mom. Sorry isn't good enough, young man. You've been eating again, haven't you? Well, you still better want your dinner. It was that strange bear, Mom. He made me eat this burger. Enough of your lies. And she beats him with the purse. Aw, oh, poor little kid. Oh, look at him waddle off. Look at him. He runs like a Welshman. Okay. Now, I have to find the last kid. You know, I think I'm gonna check the dodge him down first. Because if he is in there... Well then, it'll just have been like the last place I looked. If I don't look there first. So... I don't think he's inside the inferno. Not in the cave of horrors, I don't think he's there either. Hmm... Oh, he is in the Dodgem Dome. It's very so much fun. I'm not going back to Mother, and there's nothing you can do to make me. I'll burn you alive. Oh, I can't. <coughs> Ow, why'd you do that for, mister? I'm off to find my mom, and she'll tell my dad. Well, that's a lot to my little brats. Alright, let's go back and visit Mrs. Boggy. I can't believe all three of them were in the space zone. That is, like, easy mode. Because... I don't know if I told you guys this, but the first time we were here, but the locations of the three of them are random. There's a Star Spinner, the Dodgem Dome. They can be inside the Inferno. There is the train station. There, I don't think the train station, actually. There's the Cave of Horrors. And I think that's about it. But, yeah. That's a lot of places the kid could be. And having them all in the same zone is, like, super lucky. Well, I think we've all had an excitement to die. Time to go back home to Hailfire Peaks. Boggy well, will be wondering where we've got to. We'd eat better at dinner in the oven. Why then? Thanks again, Banjo. Take this jig I found in the ticket office earlier. And there she goes. Boobs jiggling. Side boob jiggling. Oh god. Let's just forget that. It never existed. Okay, so let's go grab the jiggy. Dun, dun. And we're ready to leave. I think we've had enough excitement in Witchy World. Because we're 100% done it. We don't have to do Witchy World ever again. Which is good. Well, actually not really. I really like doing Witchy World. But it's good to finally have another world 100% completed. Next, we're going to go and do the same thing to Glitter Gulch Mine. Because now that we have the Springy Shoes... There's one Jiggy that we can get that we couldn't, that we knew existed, but just could never ever get to. And there's Honeybee's Hive. I don't think we have enough Honeycomb pieces for another health unit, but we have enough health as it, as it is, so I don't think we'll really need it anyway. Alright, if I recall correctly, this Jiggy is by the Crushing Shed. I think. We'll find out in a sec if I'm wrong. Nope, it's by the crushing shed. Alright, so first, gotta break this open. There's the springy step shoes. We gotta cross. Well, that was a gigantic failure. Let's try this again. Okay, so there we go. Let's cross the bridge without falling in the water. Get this side of the waterfall. And spring up. And there's the jiggy. 48 out of 60, I guess. I think. How many worlds have we done? 5 out of 50. No, we can't be that good. Oh, right, I had I had Jiggies from uh, Isla Hags, too. So I guess that would be 3 to get there, 3 to get there. So we'd be... 44 out of 50. That makes more sense. Because then we have 48 if we include those four. Cool, so we're done here. And I think that's all the catching up we can do. So, let's return back to the wasteland. Do, 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 do. 
No, there is one more thing I forgot. Yes, I, I do remember. We're not done backtracking yet. Uh, we can go to the Wooded Hollow. Uh, Wooded Hollow. So we can go to Jinja Village too. Okay, now if you remember, there was one egg that we couldn't hatch in Heggy's egg shed because we couldn't get up to it because Heggy can't climb boards in her own house. Someone must have set up her house all weird. She was like, no, 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 clock. And then that was it. So we haven't been in here in a while, but now we have the drill. We can drill that open and there's split pads. So let's take the Kazooie pad and go on up here and get this yellow egg that we found earlier. And let's hatch it. Pop! Clock! Special Heggy Egg awarded Jinjo as multiplayer character. Clock! Who is Jinjo? Alright, so Heggy doesn't know what a Jinjo is, but I just love the way Heggy talks. Clock! Special eggs all hatched! Alright, so no more special eggs. Sad face. Hmm. Okay. Two more things to do, and then I think we'll call this episode done. The first is we have to head back to Spiral Mountain. <clears throat> because there's something there that we can get that we haven't gotten. Because we haven't had the ability to, and I've been too busy showing you new stuff. So let's take this old Jinjo path. Hopefully this will take us directly to Spiral Mountain and not through the Digger Tunnel. Okay, good. Alright, so at the very base of the waterfall over here, there's a Kazooie... A Kazooie block over here. And we can blow that open now that we have the thing here. And inside is a Jinjo! Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. And now if we look at our completion for Spiral Mountain, we'll see we have one out of one Jinjo and one out of one Cheetah Page. There aren't any... Uh, there aren't any uh, jigsaw pieces or notes in Spiral Mountain. So I will call this 100% completion, completion for Spiral Mountain now. Cool beans. We are really moving along with this game. And by moving along, I mean it's a snail's pace, but at least we're seeing some progress here. Too bad there wasn't a percentage meter. Then we can keep looking at it and see, hey, now we're good at 65, 66. At this point, I think we're at least at almost... 50%. Probably more. Oh, where am I going? I want to go back to the wasteland. Because we got stuff to do. Places to go and things to see. If we move in the opposite direction of the digger tunnel, we'll see up here that there's a little crack here. We're going to ignore that completely for now. Because that isn't important to us. I actually went in the wrong direction. How embarrassing. We actually want to follow the digger path. And then come on up here. You know what? I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Where am I going? Right. This is where I'm going. Up the hill is a crack, a slit in the wall that looks, um questionable if you have a look at it. It's kind of questionable crack in the wall. Um, just subtly pointing that out there. Over here we have some notes and we hear a Jinjo at the top. But one's a Jinjo and one's a Minjo. Which one is it? Let the clockwork Kazooie egg decide. Oh my goodness it's that one. Either way, we got a black Jinjo up here. Grab that. Whee! Okay, so we're pretty well done everything here. So let's go ahead and just open up our next world. Do, 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 do. Oh, don't chase me. Don't chase me. Please don't chase me. Okay, so grabbing the springy step shoes and hop up where this digger thing went. There we go. And 
all the way in here. We're getting close to the keep, I think. Castle keep. Up here, let's see if we can see it from here yet. No, probably not. Here we have the quagmire. Quagmire is a swamp. Giggity. And we also have a silo, so we can get up here really easily next time. Now, if we look over here, we will see... What will we see up here? There's where the digger path goes up. It goes all the way up there, so up there must be the castle keep. So we're getting closer. I can feel it. Feel it in my bones. Anyway, if you guys recognize this place, this is where we opened up our new level, Grunty Industries. And up here we have some feathers and a Jinjo. Or it could be a Minjo. It's a black one, so we just got a black Jinjo, so I'm gonna say this is a Minjo. Oh my goodness! I don't want to waste a Clockwork Kazooie egg on this, but... Ow, it was a Minjo. Okay, you can't kill the Minjo by using the roll attack, it seems. Anyway, on the next episode, we're going to be starting Grunty Industries. I don't want to start in the level, because I want you guys to hear the track when I start the next episode. I'm just going to be quiet and let the music play, because the outside music to Grunty Industries is my favorite track in this entire game. I love the music of Grunty Industries. Not so much the inside of the level, but the outside of the level. It's just wonderful. So I'll see you guys on the next episode when we'll start it up. See you guys next time.